Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. Look at that. The magician and the sun came out right in the beginning here. I haven't really shuffled yet, but um, today I'm going to be doing your daily reading for July 11th, 2021. Before I get started, I do have a few announcements. So for the people who don't like to hear me talk, you can fast forward at this moment if you don't want to hear the announcements. But for others of you who do not want to be scammed by somebody in my comment section, this is your announcement, okay? Um, and so those other people who keep telling me in my comment section that I talk too much can go ahead and get scammed. Just don't ask me for my money and any money back from me, okay? Because a few people are falling for it. It's not me. Um, I will not come in the comment section and offer you a reading um, in any capacity unless you ask for one. If you're asking me a specific question for your circumstance and you say, I want a personal reading, then I will give you my email address or I will just direct you to my description box because that is always where my email and my contact information are going to be. Don't, you know, you might as well not even ask me for a reading in my comment section. It's going to be in my description box. If you would like a personal reading, the message is there. Uh, if you want information on my monthly giveaway, it is in my description box as well. In order to enter, all you have to do is let me know in the comment section and I'll give you a green check mark, okay? And then the rest of the details are there in the description box. Um, sometimes it just really be the audacity of people. I mean, like, oh, I'd be so, I'm really big on like not exchanging unnecessary energy because it's just exhausting. But you know, I will cuss you out, but I just don't like to do it. So don't just don't come in my comment section and tell me what to do on my page. You know what I'm saying? Go start your own channel. That's why there are so many different YouTube channels so you can pick and choose you know what I'm saying and and I watch YouTube videos like and I love all different varieties I go to this reader for this and this reader for this and this reader for this you know what I'm saying I'm not somebody who just reads the cards and if you want somebody like that there are plenty of great readers like that who I enjoy to watch too who don't do a lot of talking but I'm talk and I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna talk my shit too so don't come in my comment section telling me to I talk too much because you just get blocked okay so good morning everybody and welcome to my channel <laughs> today we are going to be looking at the energies for July 11th 2021 I'm going to start with the angel answers oracle card see what angel and spirit messages that there may be out there for you Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys, and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message for the Aries Collective who are watching and wanting a message from me, okay? Let's see here. Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys, and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message. Oh, that's a message for somebody. Recovery, okay. Because when I get done with you, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, so somebody may need some healing, all right? Maybe they need to disconnect right now. They need some downtime. I feel like somebody is on the move. They're on the go, go, go. And then just, this is your message here that you need to take some time for yourself. Possibly meditate. Um, you may be getting over something. I'll pull one more. I'll pull one more angel answers card for the collective. What do you need to see? What do they need to see for July 11th, 2021? There we have it. Okay. Beautiful. So we have success and recovery. Okay. I feel like these are two separate messages for two different, you know, groups of people here. Some of you, the recovery card, it feels like it has to do with stress. Somebody is possibly under a lot of stress right now in their life, and they do just need to take a step back for a moment here and kind of just have some downtime. You could be recovering from a relationship or some sort of situation that has really drained you. I know I am like full go, 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 but then like, and I don't know if this is an area thing or it's just a me thing. I'm go, 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 go. I love to be out. And then all of a sudden I just need to like go back into my shell and I have to go back into my shell in order to get my energy back and to just disconnect. So maybe that might be you too and you need to listen to your body right now 
and to kind of just really disconnect. Even if people are inviting you places and wanting you to go here, this is a time for you to really pull your energy back because you need that energy to manifest positive things for you. And this success card is looking like, you know, when you do that, there's going to be major success in a situation for yourself. At the bottom of the deck, we have if you believe. And it looks like she's using a grid there to manifest as well. So that's beautiful. I like it. I love it. I love it. You just need a little rest. Somebody is just overexerting themselves right now. So I'm going to pull one from the Moonology deck since we are still in the energy of the new moon and Cancer. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, please allow me to leave your message for the Aries Collective. What do they need to see? What do they need to see for July 11th, 2021? Thank you. Okay. So we have work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. We also have step out of your comfort zone. So that's why these two came out together. Somebody here is, ugh, we had just talked the other day, guys. You cannot accomplish what you are trying to, if you are trying to make a difference, difference in this world, right? And you are really trying to walk in your purpose, what you were created here, what you were created for, right? Everybody has a purpose. I don't care what it is. You have a purpose and you're going to make a difference in somebody's life. Your purpose can be a bus driver and there's nothing wrong with that. You have no idea who you're going to meet and talk to and while you're sitting in that seat. But sometimes you have to step out of your, your, your comfort zone to get there, right? Because people are waiting for you. Let's see here. I'm gonna pull one card. I'm gonna pull one from the lessons. The soul lessons. Soul lessons journey card. Right. Oh, I love this. Wow, look at that. The bottom of the deck. Purpose. Mm-hmm. I know what I I know what I am here to do. What did I say? Okay, and so we have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Okay. Ooh, this is a strong message here today. <sighs> Somebody is not where they are supposed to be. Somebody is not where they are meant to be right now. And they don't feel happy. They feel stressed. They feel drained. They feel tired. Okay. Nine of Swords. Um, Nine of Swords energy. Somebody is very anxious. Somebody is very drained, very depleted here. And I feel like the success card means that when you go somewhere else where you're not feeling like this, you're going to have a major success. You're going to have a major turnaround. Okay, look at that. I keep seeing the Five of Pentacles and I split and now I see the Ace of Pentacles. So that's what it's going to be like. You're feeling drained like this Five of Pentacles energy. And when you get to where you're supposed to be and you walk in your divine purpose, it's going to be a major turnaround for you. If somebody is seeing this message for the first time, this is your push. This is what you need to see to go out there and get it. Okay, there's enough. There is more than enough to go around for everyone. I've been telling people that who tell me that they want to start a YouTube channel and they email me and I, if you know and you've emailed me, I will write you a book because I'm all here for it and encouraging people to do that because there is no competition, especially on YouTube. That is the most lackful mindset that you could have that you're in competition with somebody else. There is only one you and you bring you to this world, okay? You're not competing. Somebody could have 500,000 subscribers over here and you're going to have a completely different 500,000, right? Because there's just so many people in the world and you never know who you're going to connect with. You're not going to connect with the same people I connect with. So you don't use that, you know, get out of that fear and stepping out that you're not going to be good enough because you're going to bring something completely different to this world. There is no, ever let nobody feed you that there's competition or you're competing because there's just not, it's not. Um, okay, here we have the seven of pentacles here. 
as the main energy. You know, guys, I read a lot of books, and one of my favorite books that highlights this is um, is a book by Wallace D. Waddles. My God, I've read it twice. The Science of Getting Rich. And he states that in the very first chapter that thinking that there's competition in this world is a very lackful mindset. If you think that you are competing with somebody, you already failed. You can put as much work in as you possibly want to. You will fail eventually. Because somebody, you know what I'm saying? So just read the book. It's very, very great book. Let's see here. What is your challenge? Relax. What is your challenge here? The strength card. Okay. All right. Advice from Spirit. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Kind of came in the reverse. What is the outcome? Yes, beautiful. Look at that. The Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords came out together. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Justice here. It's time for you to take action in something. It's like saying your time is now to take this leap of faith, to step into this wish fulfillment energy here. Your time is now. Maybe you've been in a situation or a relationship where they have been treating you wrong. They've been treating you poorly. And with the justice here, it's like this is the time for everything to be set right for you. I'm seeing a lot of messages here in the back. So let's go ahead and clarify. So we have the Eight of Swords, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, the String, the Five of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, we have the Temperance. I think that's the one they have the, the strength to. Okay, and let's see for the outcome. Look at that. The Four of Wands. All right. So I'm going to leave it right there. And there you are, Aries, standing in your power here, taking control of your situation, right? Not backing down to anyone. Not backing down to anyone. Two of Wands here taking action, making a choice in which direction you want to go and what you want to leave behind. And then you're going to be taking that leap of faith. There's your energy as well again. So somebody needs to see this today, right? Seven of Pentacles here and the Eight of Swords here. You've been thinking a long time about something. Some manifesta some manifestation here. If you can see, he's planting these seeds. You've been planting a lot of seeds. Or a lot of seeds have been planted within you. And they're growing. And you, you know, they're they're growing and you're ready to come out and spread up under underneath the soil here. But this eight of swords energy is gonna get you every single time. The self-sabotaging thoughts, these limited belief system that you have that you're not good enough, you have to work hard at what you're doing, um, you can't have this when you want it, all of those are limiting beliefs. You have to think limitless, okay? Anything that you want, you can have. Anything you think about, you can create. Anything that you put into the universe will manifest. You have to get out of this mindset because all this does is, is keep you stuck. It's funny because the girl in this picture is not even really stuck. If she just opened her arms, she could break free. And that's kind of how thoughts are. They make you feel like you're stuck and you're not. And that's why we have this if, if you believe here. If you believe, you can literally manifest anything. I'm really feeling like somebody is in a situation, though, where they've been drained. And I can tell you, speaking from experience, when I was in a really bad relationship, 
it's very hard to manifest when you're in a low vibration. And that's why, I mean, not manifest, you're going to manifest, but you're not going to manifest positive things, right? Because you're always manifesting. Every thought, every step of your life, every experience in your life is a manifestation. But you're not going to be manifesting the things that you want, right? So that's why somebody here needs to take some time to recover from a situation that has been draining them. The challenge here is the strength and the five of pentacles. That literally is the challenge. Finding the strength to pull yourself up out of a negative situation or a, a situation that's draining you here with the five of pentacles. It can be literally draining your finances, right? It could be draining your pocketbook. It could be draining your energy. And so somehow, which you do have this strength here, you do. You have to pull it from inside of you to get out of this situation that is no longer serving you. With the Nine of Pentacles here, and it came out in reverse, and the Temperance here, it may have been a long time. You may have to be really patient with yourself until you got to the point. You know, you never want to beat yourself up for being somewhere for too long. Because there will come a time when this angel will come and whisper in your ear that the time is now. And this Nine of Pentacles in reverse is telling you that your time is now. There's no more waiting. No more waiting. Okay? Your time is now. So here in the outcome, we have the, the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay? This is a, an ending here. A necessary ending. It's been a long, tough road. A long, tough cycle. You've also learned a lot on this journey. It may have been painful, but you learned a lot of lessons here. And these lessons you're going to take with you. Okay, so it wasn't all in vain. You're going to take these lessons with you and you're going to create something that you're passionate about, um, that really sparks your fire. You're going to learn all, take all those difficult situations and turn it into something really beautiful here with this Ace of Wands. And that's, you know, where your happiness is going to be. You're creating that for yourself, Aries. And I forgot that card came out. <laughs> there it is. Happiness. You are creating that for yourself. And it says, I'm aware that being being happy means that I'm on the right path. I mean, this is just one of those kick in the butt messages here that it came out before, I think, earlier in the week. And somebody really, you probably have not started yet, right? You still have not started yet. Whoever's watching this message, and this is, again, a message for you saying that you need to go ahead and get started. You only have positive things coming towards you. You really do. Here we have the Eight of Wands and the Emperor here at the bottom of the deck. This is positive forward movement. Quick. It's like once you get started, you're, you're on your way. And I mean, literally, to talk about myself for a second, that's how it was for me. I was stuck for a few months. Of people telling me I needed to start my channel and I just didn't want to do it. So I'm speaking from experience. And the minute I did it, it just seemed like it was overnight. Okay, so all you have to do is take the first step and the universe is going to do the rest of the work for you. The universe is going to bring you the people, the customers, whatever it is that you're doing. If you're supposed to be doing it, it's going to be easy and effortless once you get started. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you would like to enter the contest, uh, the giveaway, please let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.